Hey guys, welcome to a new tutorial, and this is going to be one about post-processing effects or things that you'd see in your game. Usually when you'd finish creating your game, you might add these effects to add a little bit of realism, so um, I wouldn't normally do this um, because it doesn't really follow on with the tutorial series, but seeing as all loads of people have been asking me, this can just be a short-ish video showing you how to add a little bit of extra you know, effects and realism, because loads of people keep wanting to know what I use and how to do it. Now this is just going to be a tips and tricks video so hopefully it will be short. So I'll get right into it. Right, one of the things in my scene is I've taken everything away so it looks really dark and rubbish. All I've got first of all is obviously a directional light and on my directional light I've just made sure that it has soft shadows. Um, I'm not sure if you can use those in Unity 3 but I think you can use one light with shadows and I've just made sure that the colour is a nice warm sort of colour so you can see it so it sort of reflects the colour of the sand and things like that. Um, one of the big things that I like to add which um, is good say with my terrain that I don't want to because if I start playing this um, I've set my um, camera culling so we don't render the whole terrain all at once because it gets quite taxing so you can see it popping in the background so one thing you could do is add fog and it stops this effect so if we go edit um, render settings and then we can enable fog now obviously it adds a sort of I've added a bluish fog which matches in with the sort of color of the water and the color of the sort of the sky so you know a tropical look I've set the fog mode to linear, the density to 0.01, and you want to adjust the fog um, start and end values so that you can, you know, adjust where you want your fall off for your fog to be. So you know when you get into your scene, you can notice that the sun there will be fog back here, and there'll be fog, you know, behind the trees at the back and behind where they're going to start popping in. Um, one of the things, obviously, very obvious is if I enable all my effects again in the scene is that I have got a skybox all you do is add your skybox material there so I'm using sunny skybox 3 and obviously I've added in my water you could use whichever water that comes with it but I'm using um, the water for example that comes with um, the unity assets when you import the water package in um, somebody did say that you can can use it in Unity free somehow. Maybe you want to experiment or look into that. But that's it for those basic things. And a lot of things that people ask is, you know, what effects that I use on my main camera. Now, if you can see in my scene, you know, I'm not doing anything crazy except the normal things that you do with the fog, with the skybox. Now, one thing that I do like to add is something called fast bloom. Sometimes when you add these image effects it flicks it upside down until I add a different one so I'll add sun shafts as well so you'll see with the fast bloom in the game it sort of adds um, a bright intensity to all the different sort of colors and things that you'd see and you can you know increase and decrease the threshold but the thing is I like to mask this a little bit by using um, Vignetting and obviously you get a darkening around the corners of your screen so if I untick this on and off a few times you'll notice that it sort of soothes or softens the areas where it's really intense obviously you can change that up but you don't have to I like to add sun shafts as well and you get a little bit of um, you can get sun shafts and things coming through the trees depending on where your directional light is sat and you can use sun shafts by your make that um, the actual light that it's looking for your directional light and then you might see some sort of light rays coming through the trees using that. You can use colour correction, but I've avoided it this time because uh, I don't really like it. So all you really, all I've really done is obviously added really two main image effects, which is the fast bloom and the vignetting, because it just balances it all out and makes it look you know more tropical and more sort of exotic. The settings vary really, because you can see there the intensities. You can have it as two. Um, the blur not problem, but these are really things that you'd have to test for yourself and if you can't use the unity pro image effects obviously if you don't have unity pro you can try get an indie version of image effects and I might make a video on showing people how to get those and get those working within unity but hopefully this sort of clears up some things that you can do so obviously you want to add your skybox 
add some fog, make sure your directional light's got shadows if you can enable it, add some reflective water if you can. Then if you've got hold of image effects, as I say use the fast bloom vignetting, what you can do is if you click on your main camera, then you go to component, image effects, you've got a whole host of image effects that you can try and make things look um, more special. So, as ever, thanks very much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And make sure that you like my Facebook page because I've just made one recently. So thanks very much. Cheers.